close your eyes, focus on something cool inside. Think of the name of the Buddha, Bhutto, it means awake. Think that together with the breath. Think boot with the in-breath, toe with the out. And there's nothing else you have to think about right now. Just stay right here. Just be aware of the breath and also ask yourself, is the breath comfortable? You can try long breathing for a while. If long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. You can make it shorter, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Experiment for a while to see what kind of breathing feels good right now. We're looking for happiness inside. This is why they said to be cool, because you don't have to fight anybody else for this. Before the Buddha left home, he said he saw the world as being like a little tiny puddle of water that was drying up. And there were fish in the puddle fighting one another over that last bit of water. And of course, the, the ones who won, quote unquote, the ones who stayed longest weren't going to die anyhow. He looked around and he saw the whole world was laid claim to. If he tried to find happiness out there, it was going to have to fight people off. But then he thought the problem really wasn't really out there, it was in here. He said, there's an arrow in your heart. And if you take the arrow out, then everything is cool. There's no more poison, there's no more anxiety. Because the happiness that comes from within is something you can develop. That's how the Buddha's message is, the message of the Four Noble Truths. We, we suffer not so much because of things outside, but because of our own lack of skill. But our lack of skill is something that can be overcome. We can change our actions, we can change our words, we can change our thoughts. Which means that happiness was within our power, and we don't have to fight anybody for it. It's simply a matter of learning how to develop the skills we need inside. And that's a cool thought. If every day you're going to work and figure, I have to fight this person off, I have to fight that person off, you begin to see that what the Buddha said are the drawbacks of sensuality. It's because of sensuality that we have to work anyhow. And of course, in the work there's going to be a lot of effort put in. Sometimes the efforts are rewarded and sometimes they're not. Even when they are rewarded, you have to protect your, the gains you get for fear that somebody will take them away. Or well, the world will change in such a way that makes your gains meaningless. But if you look for your happiness inside, the gains you gain inside through being generous, through being virtuous, developing goodwill for all beings, and learning how to meditate to calm your mind down. That kind of happiness is a cool happiness. There's no fighting anybody. The only fight there is is a fight against your own greed, aversion, and delusion. And that's a fight you can win. So all these are cool things to think about. The world outside is a hot place. Not only hot in terms of the weather, but just hot in terms of people's attitudes. There's so much greed, aversion, and delusion sloshing around the world right now. You don't want to make your goodness depend on their goodness, because their goodness is something you will look at it, what it's like. You want your goodness to be independent. In other words, your desire to do something good comes from within, and then you nourish that from within. That becomes your contribution to the world and also your contribution to your own happiness, your own well-being. So remember, you have the sources of goodness inside, and you can't wait for other people to develop theirs. As they say that admirable friendship is the whole of the practice. It is in the sense that we depend on admirable friends like the Buddha and his noble disciples to show us the way to happiness, but we're the ones who have to do the work. But as I said, it's cool work. It's work inside. You don't have to fight anybody off. And it's work that can be accomplished. The world promises all kinds of things, but it never really delivers. The work of the world is never done. But the work that we do inside, that can come to completion. And as the Buddha said, when it's complete, it leads to the highest happiness. So as we live in the world, we do have to deal with the ups and downs of the world the good and bad things in the world. It's a lot easier to deal with, though, when you have your own goodness inside, you know that you have your own independent source of goodness inside. Now, even though the world may be really hot and burning with the fires of passion, aversion, and delusion, our minds are cool. And the water of our generosity, the water of our virtue, the water of our goodwill, that can help to put out the fires of the world. 
at least to some extent. But at the very least, you want to make sure that your mind isn't flammable, doesn't go up in flames. And that's something that is within your power.